Hello, Sam here, editor of Oracle Time, and today I'm here with the latest from perpetually aesthetically adventurous British brand Fairer, who this time have actually toned things down a bit. For me, the lander is quintessential Fairer Fair, a classic watch design with a colourful, decidedly British twist. It's just what they do best, and in the case of the last Lander model, that came in the form of a striking sea green dial. It's still part of the collection, and it's still lovely. Well, now we have the Lander Midnight. The Midnight feels like the standard Lander's older, much more serious brother. In place of that sea green, Farah has gone for a much more refined dark blue number with a matte finish. It's a bit less ostentatious and a lot more toned down. It still has the layered look, so it's not lost any of the detailing, it's just less eye-catching. As the colours less domineering, Farah has also managed to add a couple of little twists to the design. The main part of that is a new bronze-coloured internal scale, which not only lifts the midnight blue, but perfectly matches the new handset and Farah's signature bronze crown. The white, high-contrast numerals are easy to read, but unfortunately the same can't be said of the second hand. Its blue is a good few shades lighter than the Midnight, and matches the Minute track perfectly, but it's still blue on blue, and can get a bit lost. At least the GMT hand is impossible to miss in bright red. Other than those design tweaks, the Land of Midnight is the accessible traveller's watch we know and love. The movement inside is the Solita SW332, an upgrade from earlier Lander models in that it now has a 56 hour power reserve up from 42. It's the same movement as in the Sea Green model. It's the top of the Salita Pyramid and is handsomely, if not excessively finished, visible through the exhibition case back. At 39.5mm across, the case is just a hair smaller than the standard 40mm, not quite venturing into retro sizing. It wears incredibly well, though honestly if you've ever worn a Fera before, you'll be expecting that. It also comes with a quick change strap, so if you do long for something a little funkier than the pretty low key brown number we have here, it'll be an easy swap. The Land of Midnight isn't going to set the world on fire, far from it. If anything, it's a less eye catching take on the Fera formula than I'm used to. That's not necessarily a bad thing though. In it, the British brand is showing that yes, they can tone things down. Yes, they can offer something a bit more refined, and yes, it's very distinctly a fairer watch. Priced at £1,190, it's also, as per usual, a seriously accessible GMT. Well, it wouldn't be fairer if they weren't punching above their price tag now, would it? Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and let us know in the comments which you prefer, the Land of Midnight or its Sea Green sibling.